Hi Virgo, I'm Pam and welcome to your Psychic Tarot reading for April 2018. This month I laid out the five card rainbow tarot spread for you using the Hanson Roberts tarot deck. And remember, these are general readings and to get messages pertaining specifically for you, you would need a private reading. This recording is for Virgo Sun, Virgo Ascendant, and Virgo Moon. Please be sure to watch your rising sign and your moon sign to gain more insight and information because some months they're going to resonate more for you than your sun sign will. All that being said, Virgo, now into your reading for April 2018. First card you have here has shown up many times in the readings for the other signs this month. You're getting this page of cups too and the page of cups could be a Pisces Cancer or Scorpio Sun sign rising sign or moon sign could also be you if your rising or moon sign is water could be a child could be a messenger about about love I feel like you're getting a little confused and having trouble figuring out what's going on with this page of cups in April you're doing a lot of talking with them and also a lot of listening is happening between you and this page in April. For some of you, the page is having trouble um, or is feeling troubled for some of you. They're scared about something. They're worried about something. Some of them are uh, trying to secure something. They could be trying to secure a job a home, uh, a, you know, uh, working papers, a green card, um, a loan. They're a good person. They're very kind. They're very caring. They're a little bit manipulated and monopolized by other people. This could be their friends, their family, their, you know, business associates. You may look at them like this page of cups is veering out of control and that you would like to uh, like steer them in the right direction. I get that energy. Like you're going to feel like they're driving like woo, woo, woo down this highway and you're, you're going to want to guide them or advise them or help them out in some way. This could be a child to you. It could be somebody you're involved with romantically speaking. Could even be a parent. Don't be thrown that it's a page. I mean, it could really be your kids. But if you don't have kids, this page of cups is somebody uh, you have a strong connection with in this lifetime somehow. They do need assistance from you in some way and also uh, they're either thinking outside the box and doing some like way out thinking or you are going to do that in dealing with the page it goes either way they may also be lashing out at people if they're under stress pressure duress worryment fears anxiety they may be so you may see this page of cups be like kind of like acting out a little bit in uh, April. You have the devil card here next. This is uh, addicted to an unhealthy relationship, bound to an unhealthy situation, could be addicted to something, a substance abuse of some kind, or even gambling. Uh, it's some kind of addiction, could be that, or somebody you're connected to could have uh, this addiction. You really want a more clear picture and understanding of what's going on in some kind of situation. You've been burnt in the past, burnt in the past, and so there's something about a situation you're analyzing or you're not really liking it. You're like up above it, overviewing it, analyzing it, and you're not really liking it. Um, or you want, And you want clarity and or you want clarity about what's going on. Even though it's not the Hermit card, which is suspended in animation and in limbo, I feel like this, even though this is the devil, I still feel like you, your feeling to me is like I'm in suspended animation and in suspense and I don't know what's happening about something. You're in limbo about something here or suspended. You're suspecting that there's ulterior motives behind what people are saying and doing in April. Um, 
Like you're not really fully trusting what someone is doing or saying to you. You don't believe them in some way. And you do have anger here about something and you want to express it. I feel there's someone that you are really enraged by their behavior. It could be anybody. It's a general reading, Virgo. I'm sorry. I know you probably want me to pinpoint it, but I feel like you're going to be like, yeah, no mystery here. I know who I'm enraged at. Okay, maybe you don't know it on April 1st, but come, go back and listen to this again on April 30th and tell me if you haven't figured out who you're enraged at by you get time you get to the end of the month. And as I've said in the other signs that I'm going to say here to you too, Virgo, Go back and listen to my reading for you, Virgo, in April of 2017 and see if some of the things that I said then aren't happening to you now. I get people that tell me that once in a while. You should check that out because that's the nature of psychic predictions. They often take much longer than what uh, a psychic or the client hopes or thinks they're getting with timing because timing's like a rubber band. Okay, so the next card you have here is the uh, Three of Swords, and the Three of Swords is a heartbreak, sadness, disappointment. Could be somebody cheating, could be a divorce. It's often called the divorce card. So listen to what you have going on here, especially with the devil. And now you've got this. I see you being mad that people could be so mean or cruel. Maybe you're getting negative feedback from clients or uh, people in your life are like saying some off the wall hurtful things to you because I feel like some of this is communication coming at you uh, somehow on Facebook, on YouTube, on you know relatives and friends. I don't know. It, where is it coming at you from? You're going to really be seeing somebody's true colors in April. I, listen, I don't want to say anything negative. I One of my dear friends is Virgo. And I have relatives that are Virgos and other good friends as well. I, I don't wish this on you, but I, I can't lie and the cards aren't lying. And I can't tell you just what you want to hear, Virgo. I'm sorry. I don't like to say bad things. But you are going to be mad and you're going to be seeing somebody's true colors in April. April. I feel you're going to accuse someone of something. You may say, you're cheating on me, or you stole from me, or you're lying to me. You're going to be saying something, maybe not though any of those three. It could be other things you're going to be saying, but I see you accusing somebody of something. And you're going to watch how it all crumbles apart and it, like it folds. <laughs> what's going to happen now I don't know if it's lasting it could maybe be repaired I don't know yet but some of you are going to walk away from a destructive relationship now you may say my marriage is fine or I have a great love relationship well maybe that's not the relationship maybe the relationship is with your boss or with a co-worker or your best friend or a cousin or your sibling or your father or your mother I don't know but some of you have some kind of relationship that you're gonna see as being unhealthy not good for you and destructive and you may very well walk away from it you got to listen to the devil and the three of swords again not that you want to hear bad news but don't you want to be prepared some of you Virgos maybe this isn't going to happen at all and you need to watch your rising sign or your moon sign for April but this is what's coming up for you here. You've got the Ten of Rods. Look, what the heck does that mean? Moving on. You're moving on to new and better horizons. You have Ten Rods of Burden here on your shoulder, and that's knowledge and experience you gained. And that knowledge and experience is helping you as you go, go on and move to the new and better horizons. So that makes sense after these other two cards. Think about it. Some of you are going to be getting invited to attend a large gathering, and it's a quite a large social event. It could even be publicized, like on TV, or, you know, it's a big protest, or it's a big gala. Uh, it could be outside in a courtyard. It could be a big celebration. Maybe it's going to be an anniversary of some uh, tragedy, or something where something went wrong, or a bad storm, or a horrible 
incident and now people are coming together to like honor the memory of those that maybe perished in that incident uh it could i've got chills everywhere like i feel like i'm standing here with about 15 deceased people all around me and those of you that can pick up on that kind of thing believe me there's a couple right here uh they're making all my hair stand up so they want to come in and say this to virgos but for some of you it's not just going to be that it will it may not be that situation it may be a wedding or a big anniversary party or a big bash that a company or corporation is having that you got in, invited to but for many of you it is an anniversary of a huge they're around me again when i bring it up so people perished in that they're making my hair stand up again they uh they perished there's many people that perished in this incident i don't know what it is i'm not sure what it is uh but it's like a, a gala though even though it may sound weird why would people be celebrating it it's I kind of i don't want to make it sound overboard gala like woohoo it's not like mardi gras but it's uh it's a lot of people a lot of people coming together some of you are finding a different place to live and it may be because you like all this mess went on and now you're like i'm out of here and you find a different place to live that's the case for some of you some of you it's not because something detrimental happened first it could be you're just finding a new place to live maybe you wanted to move for a while so the next card you have is three of rods and three of rods is a success it's it's waiting patiently for success to come in your ships are coming in virgo or it's you're letting go of the un you know you're letting go of things so now the success is coming to you it could also be you're at the beginning of some new uh some new success uh a successful endeavor here some of you are getting everything in alignment and you're getting ready to propose and you're either going to propose in love and marriage or you're going to make a proposal that you hope somebody's going to bite on and say yeah we're going to go with that and then that elevates you to the next level what is it you're proposing because you're getting things in alignment to make some type of proposal you may stake claim on foreign ground you may go to your country of origin or birth or back to another country uh, that you have relatives in or you lived in before or and you may go and stake claim to something so somebody may have passed away and maybe you're inheriting and you're splitting it up with siblings and uh, this could very well apply to virgo rising people and virgo moon this is not just for virgo sun sometimes i get that in that feeling comes up like i better say virgo rising so pay attention to virgo rising people out there um and you could be staking some kind of claim to like maybe there's going to be siblings fighting over a house a piece of land personal property or it's not necessarily a fight but this comes up to me like bam you're staking your claim and i don't get that usually from this card you have a mixture of things you're going through fond memories some of you and memor mem remembering and reminiscing about the good times but some of you are uh not in agreement over property who gets what the division of things some of you are going to be going through something like that i know this is a good card so don't get mad because some of you really do have success here but i don't read them reversed so when they say something that doesn't sound good for a positive card you still have to pay attention to it i feel that some of you this isn't going to apply to all of you virgos so please don't wig out some of you have someone that wants to take some kind of legal action against you maybe it was a fender bender maybe it's to do with an estate and people aren't in agreement so then one of you uh, one of your siblings or one of the other people that are inheriting something want to take you to court or take you and a couple others to court that they don't believe something was divided right or fair or arguing over something but like i said it could be a fender bender or if you're an employer maybe somebody slipped and fell at work or they were they hurt themselves and you let them go and now they're going to say 
you fired me and I got hurt on the job, blah, blah, blah. It, it's, it could be that. I don't know. I don't know what it is, but some, could be a neighbor disgruntled and saying, your friends and family are causing too much of a disturbance or something happened and you like planted something on their property and it's, so now they want to sue you. I mean, it, I'm not saying that's for all of you. But the, you, some of you are going to tell me in May, by May, by mid-May, some of you people watching this video are going to tell me in the comments section under the mid-month psychic tarot update for May that someone in either April or the beginning of May uh, wanted to take some legal action against you in some way. Maybe it's even going to be like a restraining order or a motion for child support or a motion to, uh, I don't know, a start a disability claim. I don't know, but I know some of you are going to be writing that. Some of you Virgo and Virgo rising people are going to write that in mid month of May. If you have some major test that you have to take for college boards, uh, final exams in getting your master's or PhD, um, or in high school or whatever, or trade school or some kind of program, you're going to ace it. You're going to pass a test that's important to you. Now, if it's not an actual test, if you're like, she's all wet. I'm not taking any classes. I'm not taking any tests of any kind in any situation. Well, then you're passing a karmic test. So some of the stuff that's going on, Virgo, and I love my Virgos out there, so don't think I don't. Don't accuse me. Hey, you must know somebody you don't like that's a Virgo. I hate when people say that to me. That's not true. Or whatever sign it is. Look at the cards you have here in a row before you get to this three of rods you have some stuff going on Virgo you do I hope this reading was of help to you and I hope it made sense I want to thank you so much for watching sharing and liking my videos thank you for subscribing and for Google Plusing I do truly appreciate that and please remember to subscribe that way you'll get notified when I upload my videos here to YouTube. If you're interested in getting a continuation of this reading, Virgo, where I look into my crystal and get additional messages and predictions for you for this month of April 2018, you can access these videos for download and purchase by clicking on the link below this video in the show more section and it will take you to my Vimeo videos on demand page for April 2018 psychic crystal readings for each sign of the zodiac. You can also access these videos by going to my newly updated website, www.theluckymermaid.com. Go to the videos tab on my menu and it will be one of the first three videos. I'm not sure what number it will be on that page. You just click on your sign and it will take you to those crystal readings for April on Vimeo. Also, Virgo, if you want to hear how you're going to be lucky, because you have kind of had a little bit of a brutal uh, month here, but some of you may, it's, you know what, all, whatever happens, it's supposed to happen. It's fate, destiny, meant to be, and you will be better off for it. Remember that. But if you want to see where luck lies for you in this year of 2018, uh, I recorded special videos for what's lucky for you in 2018 three card psychic tarot reading. You can access those videos by clicking on the other link below this video in the show more section. And I think some people don't know what I mean by that because sometimes I, I every mid month I'm putting the timestamps there and people say, where are the timestamps? And then I have to repost them like a comment. When I say the show more section, there is the words show more under the video. If you click on that, more information drops down. A lot of uh, people re watching um, my videos on YouTube, I don't think realize that's what I mean when I say show more. So uh, if you go into that section, you will see the other link 
for the What's Lucky For You videos and also on my website on the videos page. It's going to be one of the first three uh, listed there. You click on your sign and it will take you to those videos on Vimeo. So I wish you an absolutely awesome April, Virgo. And know that I wish you many blessings and peace.